In this video tutorial we're going to continue adding some elements to our page um, and um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a main content area to our um, web page. So to do that I'm going to go back to the insert menu again and click on that and I'm going to choose this time the first uh, option which is a div. I'm going to choose div and it says, do you want to wrap around the selection? And you can see it's got the header selected. No, I don't want to do that. In fact, what I want to do is I want to actually position it after the header tag. So choose after tag, and we're going to position it after the header ID header tag. And we're going to call it main. And I'm going to put an underscore in here because I don't want to have... Um, any spaces between words. So main content and click OK. Here's my main content div. Um, with it selected I'm also going to create a rule for it to center it. Uh, and so while it's still selected I'm going to click on the CSS designer tab and go to the selectors field, click plus Notice it automatically chooses main content. I hit return and I'm going to go to width once again. Choose pixels. This is just like I did for the header. I'm going to make it 750 pixels wide and I'm going to go to margin, left auto, <clears throat> and then right auto again. So now I've got the main content area. If I close the CSS designer area um, uh, panel, you can see I've got the main content area for my, my site here, but there's nothing in it. So I want to add some placeholder text. And a great website to do that is if you go to um, a site called, the website is at lipsum.com, lipsum.com. And here you'll find lots and lots of lorem ipsum, which is placeholder text. And here is my placeholder text. I simply go to the button that says generate lorem ipsum, click on that. And here is my lorem ipsum text, which looks like fake Latin. And I'm going to choose just a paragraph I'll do for this uh, um, example. And I'm just going to select it. I'm going to copy it using Command C on my Mac or Control C if you're on a PC. And then I'm actually going to toggle back to Dreamweaver. And to toggle on a Mac, you just simply do Command Tab, um, Alt Tab on a PC. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. And with that placeholder text selected, I'm going to simply go to Edit, Paste, or Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. So now I've got some placeholder text here um, in my main content area and that'll do fine for the moment. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is insert a footer into my page. To do that I simply click on the insert panel again and I'm going to choose footer. Um, and rather than an insertion point, I'm going to say after tag. And this time I'm going to say after the tag, make sure you choose the previous div, which is main content. And I'm going to call the footer, surprisingly, footer. And then click OK. I'm going to also style my footer um, by going to the CSS designer panel click on the plus symbol next to selectors with the footer div selected it should automatically show up I hit return and then give it a style here and because I'm just going to do the same um, 750 pixels and left auto right auto and so now my footer is styled and now I just going to, I'm just going to um, close the CSS Designer panel and add my um, text to the footer. And what I'm going to put in here is I'm going to go to the Insert 
menu from the top of the Dreamweaver screen, click on Insert, and I'm going to go down to HTML and across and all the way down to um, Character, right at the bottom of the um, menu list. And I'm going to go all the way across and notice that you have copyright here. I'm just going to add a copyright symbol and then a space next to it, put the year, my name. So there is my, um, there is my footer div. In the next video, we're going to do just a little bit more styling uh, of our elements and then finally upload it to our site.